Tom from New Order. Um, you've played here. Yeah, we played here about, I think it was about two years ago, Chris. Uh, it was post-pandemic. It was a really important gig to us because uh, the last gig we'd done before that was at the O2 and then we are just coming back on stage and it was just prior to our gig at Ian Park, which was going to be massive. So we came here in this iconic venue and I remember it being a fantastic night. The atmosphere was amazing. It's just like a really beautiful venue, isn't it, really? Did you Love know anything it. about the venue before? No, I'd never been in before and I was like, wow, you know, amazing place. So, yeah, it was great. great. Tell me about um, that night then. Um, walking out on stage, what's it feel like from the stage looking out? Well, it was, as I say, it was a really important show to us because we've not played for a, a year, a year and a half, I think, and just the atmosphere was really, really special. People were coming out for the first time to watch concerts again, so you could feel they were really excited to be there as well with us, so it made a really special night. I just remember being really excited about it. It was just a fantastic evening. Really. It was really, really special. Tell really me about the, the sound in a venue like this, where you're surrounded by stone buildings. Um, I just, well, I remember the sound being absolutely fantastic. The light show was fantastic because we had the lasers sort of bouncing off the walls and everything. And uh, no, it was it was really, really, really great. I'd love to play here again. I think we should do it again because it was really, really special. So. It's kind of like a, an immersive experience again, in a way, isn't it? Because you are so enclosed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just a. You know, like the fact that you're surrounded by walls and people are sort of on the balconies watching you. It's a really, really special atmosphere. A very iconic venue, uh, very special in the UK. I think there's not many like this, so... No, and I think that's maybe what's bringing the big American rock bands here. Yeah, I think they've obviously heard about it for uh, we, we need a piece of this, you know. Yeah. Excuse the pun, but uh, yeah, yeah, so... When, when you're... <laughs> <laughs> when, yeah, that's uh, French humour right there. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so go on. When, um, when you're sitting down to look at dates that you're going to play, do you think that, um, it, is it important to you what, which venues you play? It is, definitely for us. I mean, we always sort of really pick and choose where we play and we always try to play in interesting places. Places where that would, that's going to surprise us that we've never played before and uh, this iconic place was really one of them, you know, so we were really, really, really pleased with this concert, so it was really important to us as well, so yeah, it was great. You're here tonight for the War on Drugs? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the last time I saw them, I think we were doing a festival with them in uh, South America, which was quite a while back. and. I remember thinking at the time, oh, I wish I had more time to watch them. So I'm really excited tonight to watch them and uh, it's going to be great. Is your focus going to be watch a band on the bass player? <laughs> well, I'd be very boring if I did that. So <laughs> no, I'll be watching the whole band. Uh, no, uh, no, I'm, I'm excited. I think it's going to be good. So yeah, no, I love them. So yeah, it's going to be good. In the sunshine too. Yeah, it's not raining. Thank God, you know, so yeah. It didn't rain for us as well, though, so they're lucky. No, it's perfect, perfect. Yeah, it's going to be good. Enjoy the show. Thank you very much, Chris. Good stuff.